Hello everybody. So this is the project I created in order to test my modding infrastructure and I haven't gotten terribly far on it yet but I figured I'd show you how far I've gotten and what the heart of this project is. In this game you start with a certain number of vehicles and you build more uh, but the vehicles are just to get you around. Uh, the reason that they're important is because they contain a number of resources. In this case at the moment all they contain is electricity. I've put an electricity mod into the game. It's a core feature, but it's still considered a mod. So here, you can see that the facility power overview shows 2 megawatt hours plus 6 kilowatt hours a day. And it says down here that's what the vehicles give us. Now, if I were to stop the game and delete one of these vehicles, hit play, you can see that it's 1,000 kilowatt hours, which is half as much, and half as many kilowatt hours. Uh, that's not because the cars have been carefully registered by me. It's because the cars understand that they need to register themselves if they have a specific kind of power or a specific kind of mod piece. I'm going to go into that a little bit later. But first I wanted to build stuff. So I've taken people out of the equation for the moment. Uh, there's, I'm going to put them back in. They're going to be another mod. But just at the moment, the only thing required to build stuff is electricity. So you can keep building until you run out of electricity. We're not going to try and use up a thousand uh, kilowatt hours of electricity in one day, but uh, I figured I'd make a little bit of a dent in it. Now, uh, what's fun about that electrical zap is that that is uh, actually a, an icon which is provided by the energy source. That would be the car there. So if you have a dozen different sources of energy, or in the case of the humans mod, a dozen different people, then they can each provide their own image to show when they're working on something and you can get an impression of who's working on what that way. If we go into the mod overview page, we can see that we used up about 55 kilowatt hours. We used up 58 and then we regenerated 3. And we're 95% full and we're still gaining 3 kilowatt hours from the vehicle. Now that seems pretty straightforward. Also, over here on the side, you can see that I've got this thing which is popping up pieces. That's actually two other mods. These don't have any electrical electrical components, so the electricity mod doesn't have any say there. But if they did have electrical components, then it would pop up in the sidebar. I just haven't built any yet. All of this is specified in the mods, and I'm going to show you how straightforward that is. So let's look at the electricity mod here. Here's the electricity mod. It's got three directories prefabs, scripts, sorry, two directories and an object, prefabs, scripts, and the electricity mod itself. The electricity mod itself uh, is what controls a lot of the, um, uh, whether it's on or off, what its priority is, all that stuff gets set up here. So regardless of the mod you're building, you're probably going to have to build one of these. And you can see that it specifies energy as an, a required resource. Now, if 18 mods all specify energy as a required resource, as long as the name is spelled the same, whoever specifies it last is the one that actually gets the uh, gets to, to talk about what the units are and all that stuff. And you can see that it contains a fair amount of details, like kilowatt hours, megawatt hours, gigawatt hours. This is actually a very powerful class behind the scenes, this, uh, this energy class, because what happens is it automatically uh, becomes the center of a web of resources when you start the game. But all of that happens on the sly, behind the scenes, and the player never has to understand it. The dev never has to understand it. So if you look at the truck cab, down here it's got a functional system resource, and this understands that it has to register with the energy named resource and tell it these things about itself. See? That's how that works. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Similarly, if we go over into the prefabs of the game itself, you can see that the roof and all that stuff, it has a, a requirement, energy quantity too. And so that's how you set that up. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward way to do it. Now it's, it's, it's flabby in terms of it uses strings or it could be using something else, all that stuff. But that flabbiness is actually a benefit to us because it allows us to give uh, devs enough wiggle room to create multiple kinds of things there. Anyway, back to the uh, mod here. In the scripts, it's got an electricity wrangler, and the only reason it's got an electricity wrangler is because I need to have that pop-up. So this is the electricity wrangler. And all this does is, when it says display, 
it goes in and it uh, puts all these values in. And that controls its display. Now, the other two mods I've created don't have displays here, so they don't have this kind of class. Now, over in prefabs, it's only got two prefabs. Uh, the readout, which is just the visual part of that script, and the work pop-up, which is just that lightning bolt. And that lightning bolt, this is not actually part of the mod. I mean, it's part of the mod because I just decided that it should be, but it's actually assigned to the individual car here. It's part of the car. So, uh, the car actually is part of this mod. Punk. But, of course, it's much more complicated than that, so I probably won't leave it as that mod. Uh, still, the point is that the mod is quite simple and it does the task just fine. And it does it because everything happens behind the scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and create another mod right now, right in front of your eyes. And this is going to be the people mod. I actually don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, and there might be lots of noises in the background and stuff. But we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how well it works. I've, I've actually got a base inhabitants mod right now. And it's basically empty, so I guess this is a good place to start. It's got these work pop-ups, which is, uh, which are useless now, so I might as well delete them. So this is an empty set, uh, an empty set of directories here, and we need to create a mod for it. So let's just duplicate an existing mod, copy it over, and start to rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and knock the priority way, way up, because it's a core mod. I don't have the requirements part built yet, but I will. There will be something where you can say, oh, it requires X mod or Y mod of version Z. Just not quite ready yet. So here you see the facility tab display, which is the readout electricity. We're actually going to leave that as none, uh, just because we don't have uh, any any facility readout. We don't have any context menu item either because the characters aren't actually going to be in the working world as clickable objects just yet. We're not going to want to do energy. We're going to want to do work. And it'll be uh, hours. Uh, it's not actually hours. It's uh, hours equivalent. And our metric unit description, we're just going to have one, and it's going to be hours. Uh, now, we don't have to fill out anything else, but here you can see that what we, ha what we had in the electrical mod is we had an on-facility post-load and an on-day on past, which hooked up to the various pieces of that mod that needed to get called at that time. I don't believe they actually needed to. I think that was obsolete, and I just is still working on it behind the scenes here. So now we have a people mod, but it doesn't do anything. It just kind of exists. It creates this this asset called work, but nobody asks for work and nobody can provide work. So we're going to have to create some people for our work. Now we already have some people from before when I was playing around, and that would be over here in the work menu. So let's turn the work menu on and turn off the menu control tab just for the moment. Um, I turn off the facility overview tab, I mean, there we are. We've got these two characters, Doug and Arn. So these are objects. Uh, no, those, that's not it here. Where is it? Uh, mask, object grid, worker button, worker button. So these are just two buttons that are associated with two specific workers. Uh, now, this is a, not a tab, which is a part of the normal flow of mods. The inhabitants, core inhabitants mod is too important to stick in just that 200 pixel window. So we are in fact going to shortcut, uh, we're going to short circuit that particular part of the mod interface. It's very easy to build those things, but we need this to work instead. So what we need to do is we need to specify these guys as a resource. There it is, functional system resource. Resource name work, quantity 8, quantity max 8, Base daily rate 8. Uh, can draw from anywhere. Nope. No, we can only draw from himself. Uh, category inhabitant. Oh, local we'll worker. And the worker pop up fab. Now, what sort of work up, worker pop up fab are we going to use? We've got this work pop up from here. Let's go ahead and duplicate it, copy it over, and we're going to go ahead and create a 
work pop up Doug and work pop up Arn. And the only difference between these and the lightning pop-up is that their texture is going to be different. But you notice that I can make them as different as I need to. Uh, if I wanted to, I could attach lots of code here and I could have it do complicated things. So this is just a, a very simple placeholder uh, for those times when you don't need to do complicated things. Doug. There we go. Now we've created that, but we haven't hooked them into these characters yet, so let's go back here. Let's name this one Worker Doug. And let's name this one Worker Arn. Arn! Try that again. Uh, and you can see that we don't have, uh, we, we haven't a added the resource to Arn yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, uh, in, in the demo version, Arn actually only had six. You can see that here. We're going to go ahead and give them both eight for now. Later on, we may actually change the way that works. We're definitely going to change the way that works later on, but I wanted to show how the basics work. We've got the work pop-up fab. It's asking us for that. So let's go ahead and just drag this pop-up here and this pop-up here. Now these characters do, in fact, provide us with our daily dose of, of energy. Now if we wanted to actually see that happen, let's go ahead and set the quantity to zero on both Doug and Arn. Well, let's, head, let's, set the, let's set Doug's base generation rate to six, just so we can really see it happen. Now if we hit play, and we look at Doug here, he's still got zero quantity. So what happens when we work? Goes up to six, and Arn goes up to eight. So they are being calculated. They've automatically registered themselves with the resource system, and they are ready to work. All we have to do now is set up a, uh, a couple of objects that actually require work to build. We already have some objects, so let's go down to the prefab here. Now these are all kind of tangled together because I'm at the very, very beginning of the process. But if you were creating your own mod, you wouldn't have this kind of complex interweaving uh, you, you would be pretty, you know, you'd be like, okay, I need these four core mods that do work and electricity and shit, but then then you're on your own and you don't need you don't need anything else. Uh, so let's go ahead and just add some prices here. The floor, centered sand, requires energy and work. The wall, centered sand, requires energy and work. The window, centered sand, requires energy and work. And the roof centered sand requires energy and work. I think those are the only objects I currently have in the game. Let's go ahead and save it. Hit play. And we'll go ahead and start to construct some stuff here. And let's build some centered walls. Now, I have not tested this at all, so it could go awry. Um, but it's a fairly flexible way of doing it. If it does go awry, it's just a bug. Now, let's work. Oh, did you look at that? Is that a beautiful thing or what? <laughs> it worked just fine first try. Obviously, I plan to go a lot further with the inhabitants of our world. That is not a suitable, uh, that's not suitably integrated with, you know, you can't get more inhabitants. They're not randomly generated. So this is nowhere near being complete. But if you were going to go ahead and create a mod and you wanted to implement one kind of new resource, that's really how easy it is.